Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we are continuing our look at the newest batch of icons of WrestleMania characters, and today we're going to be looking at Rey Mysterio. Um, so he is an acrobat again, but I mean, it makes sense that if they were going to make a duplicate class for Rey Mysterio, it would be an acrobat. Uh, a reminder, these are the promoters for Faction Boss. So Rey promotes powerhouses. At 21k, earn 30% more boss shop currency from faction battles. Um, no bio listed. I don't remember what this specific um, gear, which WrestleMania it's from. Not the historian of the group, but if anyone knows, feel free to drop it in the comments. I always like learning that kind of stuff. Um... So he is chaotic, which is important for faction boss. Links, he does have the new Mysterio family link, which makes sense because he's Dom's dad. Uh, gems do 50% more damage. Icons of WrestleMania link, matching any color gems, charge moves of that color by one more move point, and just the one standard set of gear. Uh, so first move we're going to, move set we're going to take a look at is three star. Uh, it's double purple with the finisher. So the finisher is the West Coast Pop, 10 MP. Do 125,560 damage. Destroy 10 random color turn gems and pin the opponent. Purple one is the Tilt-A-Whirl Head Scissors, 7 MP. Deal 69,420 damage, giggity, and make all yellow gems into color turn gems. And purple 2 is the 619 6MP, deal 43,297 damage, and make 17 random gems into blue gems. So, stip tours, shield breaking, that's a nice high number without a, a gem generator um, in the Arash. Uh, Entourage, I'm going to use Woods for more purple MP with my tour perks. That'll be, uh, both those moves will be ready to go on turn one. And then I'm going blue gem damage focus. I feel like you don't need more blue gems. It's already plenty. Uh, so Edge, Hall of Fame China, and Afa for blue gem damage. Uh, King Seamus, Santa Hogan, Acro RVD, Acro Macho. Those are all blue gem um, Entourage trainers and coaches as well. So as you can see, it takes our blue gem damage up to almost 20,000. And for the belt, we are going full fury with a blue percent for the finisher. And we're going to use a smoke plate. Whenever you break three or more blue gems, get three purple move points at the end of your turn. And we're going to go against Eddie for uh, custody of Dominic. So... Let's see how this goes. Is there a reason why Eddie is so small by comparison? Anyways. We got a nice portion of yellow gems on the board, gonna throw that out, and then we're going to cover all of those up by using the 619. So with this moveset, the color turns are well, obviously random, to depend on how many yellow gems you have, how many you keep. I almost feel like using the finisher and the color gem move is just for damage. Like, just remove damage. See what happens here. Okay. Alright. I mean, we could hit the finisher. Destroy 10. There's only 4. I think what I'm going to do is take a swipe here. That'll trigger the plate. And then see what happens.
Excellent. He pinned us. That's good. So let's kick out of this. The problem with hitting this move and then the finisher is yellow gems don't do anything for us. So we can destroy them, but they're not they're not going to do anything. I'd rather use this instead, I think. And destroy as many blue gems as possible and then if we don't have this move loaded, we can hit the finisher to get a pin. I don't know. That was a nice cascade though. And of course the randomness of color turn gems can be helpful or they can be hurtful. Which is why I'm not the biggest fan of them. But you'll see in a different build how they're a good thing. See like if this turns green, which it didn't, but if it did, it would help us with the kick out. If it turns green now, which it didn't, thankfully, it would cascade and we would possibly pin prematurely, which we don't want to do. And not a whole lot of yellow, so we'll just use that and then we'll hit this. This build, not the most efficient, but this is what is available at 3 star. And I feel like, we'll hit the finisher now just to see damage wise, but I feel like this with our blue gems at just about 25,000, getting a cascade of those is going to do more damage than the finisher, but... We'll hit the finisher just to show it. Yeah, not even 400k. So I feel like spamming purple 2 over and over is the better way to go. But again, not the most optimal build for him. This match is already too long for my liking. The next build will be better, I promise. Source, trust me, bro. At least give us a blue. Nope? Okay. Well, we'll give ourselves one then. We can at least charge up our moves that way. Smirk. There we go. Yeah, I do like that blue jam damage. That is sweet. All right. Uh, that is how the three star build looks. You could put color gem trainers on it, but like in terms of damage, adding more color gems won't obviously do anything because you're turning all of one color into them. You could add color gem 
trainers, but again, those are random. I'd rather boost the primary color in this situation and see how much damage we can do that way. Uh, but let's keep going and take a look at a four star build. The four star build that we're going to take a look at uh, keeps in purple one, but brings in red one and red two, red two being the four star move. So we're going to do the tilt a whirl head scissors that makes all yellow gems into color terms. Uh, red one springboard crossbody one MP deal 15,701 damage and make five random gems into color turn gems. And red two is the diving hurricane Rana four MP deal 25,051 damage plus 30,206 bonus damage for every color turn gem. So the entourage for this, we're not going to use MP trainers. Uh, we're going to run AJ for four more color turns, Christian for 38% more damage to color turns, Sasha for an extra color turn and 15% more damage. And I'm going to use Hall of Fame Brett for 50% more color turn damage. Um, you could use Striker RBD. He gives 2200 flat. If you don't have either of those, you could always run Santa Hogan just for an extra 1100 or 2200 or whatever you have them at. Uh, just an extra boost to your gem damage. Belt we're keeping with Full Fury. I didn't bother taking off the smoke plate because I figure with the purple move being 7 MP, we might need the help. Um, I did switch in a tier 5 red flat. It's not completely maxed out. It's doing just shy of 45,000 per move. So let's see. Um, I feel like this is going to be a lot more efficient than the other build. The problem with this is we may have a hard time pinning or we're going to pin a lot. So, we'll see. Let's see how this looks. So we can go ahead and put out 10 random color turns. And I was going to say we can swipe blue to break purple or we can swipe purple, but lo and behold, <laughs> we don't want to break our color turns in the first first try so let's mm. Mm. okay we're gonna we're gonna break one sacrifice I'm willing to make and then hope we don't good let's say hope we don't cascade into a pin here because that's gonna be the issue with the color turns is you want to get as many on the board as possible but that just means you're leaving yourself at risk of just Cascading a bunch, right? So, got our color turns out, and now we're going to hit the Diving Hurricane Rana, so 65,000 base with the red move metal, plus 61,000 per color turn gem. See how much damage this does. It's at 4.3 million health. And now he's at 3.1. So, you know, not bad. <laughs> And there were no red matches, unfortunately, but let's see what happens here. Maybe we'll cascade into one. Nice. I wish I could call that more often, honestly. Of course, this being one MP, we can just spam it every turn. Hit this again for damage. It's at 2.9 mil. And now he's at 1.3. Love to see it. I'll take that swipe to load up the reds. Now he's going to blow up the board. So we'll see how many color turns we're left with. If they can help us with the kick out. And then once we drain his health, we might need some help pinning. You could put like a board destruction plate on. Uh, chaotic Blast, two words, uh, Blue Bomber. Be like, I know you want to leave as many color turns on the board as possible, but there comes a point where the health is gone and you need to pin. So that could be an option. I don't know how great of an option it would be. But it's a thought. You know what? I'll try it after this. Just to see. What'll happen? Of 
Because it's not like putting out the color turn gems in the same turn is going to cascade into a blast gem or something, right? So you can hit these two red moves and then maybe we would be able to take our swipe and blow up the board and move the pin bar all the way instead of having to rely on a cascade. But yeah, that's definitely something I'm going to try. Okay, let's run that back real quick with one of those plates. Alright, so let's run this back with a blue bomber plate. So 50% chance to create two random blast gems each time you use a signature move or swipe a gem. And we have a 1 MP and a 4 MP move, so let's see what happens. He yeah, did end up taking that bet, jerk. Nice. Thank you, color turns. There's the plate triggering, and we do have a match into it, which is nice. So we'll do our damage here. Plate triggers again. Yeah, that's definitely going to help as long as you don't destroy all of your color turns in the process. We'll see what happens when we have all three of our moves ready to go. How many blast gems we get out. And it's a deterrent because the AI, nine times out of ten, will target your gem instead of their own. For our defensive moves, so. Question is, will we get another blast gem in a friendly spot? No way to get to those three without cascading. 1.4, actually, that should. Nope. I overshot it. Hey, but that works. That's the other thing is they go in random spots, so it's like, yay, we have blast gems, but we can't match them. What does he do here? No! Boo this man. There we go. And we have a match. Even though it's at the top, we still have a match. Come down to 6.6. .6. Move the pin bar, match our reds. And this should do it. We have a match down here, so... Yep. 
There we go. So that's an option. Again, the problem with color turns and everything being random. Yes, the damage is appealing, but the cascades can get you. It may be hard to pin. We can throw out blast gems if we want. But even then, they land on areas that aren't swipeable. Uh, but that's how that build looks. Let's go ahead and see what his five-star move does. So five-star build we're going to take a look at is tri-color. And reason being, the five-star move is a second finisher. So blue three, Mysterio Canrana, 10 MP finisher. Deal 150,130 damage. Make eight color turn gems into blue gems and pin the opponent. We're going to run this alongside the Tilt-A-Whirl Head Scissors and the Springboard Crossbody. Basically put out as many color turns as possible. Uh, Entourage, we're going to go with Lawler for more blue MP because once we get to the finisher, it should reload itself fairly easily. Um, NXT Seth for more blue gems, Sasha for an extra color turn, and we'll get a little more damage on those color turns when they turn blue. And Hall of Fame China for more blue gem damage. I have brought back in the smoke plate, and I have brought back in the blue percent for the finisher. So let's see how well this tricolor build works. So we have a blue match, which is nice. Which means we can fill the finisher and the purple move with the smoke plate. also want to check because we're making 12 of them into blue one two three four five six we have six out already but they're not really gonna link so i feel like this may be the way to go and then hope for this now nah, you know what fuck it let's give ourselves some options shall we And I was really hoping one of those would land on a blue just so we could see what the output was, but uh, got the finisher up to 332,000. Are we doing cartwheels? We out here doing cartwheels. Wow. Wow. Raise your hand if you saw that coming. She said, with both hands in the air. Maybe the other red move. Maybe the other red move. Oh, sure. Now you... Okay. Whatever. 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 Okay. This looks a little more promising. Uh, of course. Just, did y'all just hear my soul leave my body? <laughs> oh, finally we got, uh, it's like Sideshow Bob stepping on a rake. Uh. Also, Mick says hello. He is chewing the wires to the laptop, so. Everybody say hi, Mick. Hi, Mick. All right. Well, this can't get worse. Okay. Take two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 
There'll be a cascade there. But then we'll give him a wild card. Oh my god, this is not going well. This purple move is no bueno. This purple move is no bueno. Hey, we got one. We are currently losing the custody battle for Dominic. This is not going well. Damn it. Oh well. Take 47. I'm kidding, it's still the first take, but... Okay, let's see what happens. With the finisher this time! Definitely gonna try this with a move that isn't purple. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I think I can risk throwing one extra one out there. And it landed on a blue. Perfect. So, 19k. 20. So Sasha adds a little extra. She does give us an extra gem, which is nice. That should all link. See, that's what I was trying to do this entire time. I wonder if I use the other purple move that generates blue. Yeah, I don't want to use that other one because I want this for sure. Okay, now what? No! Okay. Two. Throw those out. Man, color turns are tough. It's tough. 
there's just it can be it can go so well and it can go so wrong. The, the RNG is just not something that's ever gonna be in my favor. be the end of the match. Please just go in favorable spots. That was not favorable. But by all means, keep doing cartwheels! Nice. I'll take that. Whatever gets this match over with. I should do it. Alright. Good god. Okay. Let's reassess here. I'm gonna try to bring in the other purple move. I feel like it'll be faster. Because you need color turns to fill the finisher. So if I bring in the other purple... Oh no. Let's see. Okay, let's see how this goes. I took out the... I swapped the purple moves. I took out Seth. I brought in AJ. And I forgot to heal. So let's see how this goes. So we're going to make more color turns with this move. We're going to make less blue with the finisher. But we're still going to make a shitload of blue with the purple move. One's in chat if you understood that. But also I think we're going to eat it to the face. Because again I forgot to heal. It's just unfortunate, man. It's just unfortunate. I'm almost thinking double purple with this finisher. So like the first build we ran, but just swap finishers. And of course he doesn't cascade into a pin, why would he?
<laughs> yeah, you know what? Let's do that instead. Screw it. I know. I quit a match in the middle of a preview. Sue me. Um, let's try out the double purple with the five-star finisher and see if that's smoother. All right, so we're going to try this five-star finisher with both purple moves. Woods, NXT, Seth, Afa, and Hall of Fame China. So going back to the blue gem damage with a lot of blue gems. Again, not going to heal because I just... I, whatever. Uh, blue percent smoke plate. This should be smoother, but it's also really hard to have any kind of consistency with a random color turn gem, so... We'll see. I mean, or... Or... That works, too. Obviously can't end with that. We gotta see if this works, but... That was kinda nice. Who needs health to win? Huh? Not Ray. Alright, one more time. As I was saying. Okay, didn't make the noise, so we're good. That is a lot of blue gems, though. We at least get one for the plate. And the and the base damage of the finisher is is decent. You know, 332,000, so it's not nothing. And we can hopefully charge up that other move now. Perfect. Might as well do this. Because I feel like if we don't pin him with this move, we are dead. Well. I almost feel like NXT Seth isn't necessary either now. Welcome to my thought process behind doing preview videos, where I try stuff take one and see if it sticks. I mean, I do a, a mix of both, right? If there's a card that I really can't figure out right away, I'll take the time to, you know, experiment. But there's other ones where I feel like this is fairly straightforward. Let's go ahead and try it. And... This one might have backfired on me a little bit, but that's fine. That's fine. Uh, this board is gross. We're done. I don't like our chances. And again, it's all just so random with the color turns. It makes it really difficult. Even the the four star builds with both red moves that does damage per color turn. Like, there's even randomness in that because you don't know if you can get a pin or not. I don't want to kick out. So. Let's just... Fine by me. Fine by me. Yeah. Bit of a toughie with Ray. Uh, but let's go ahead and conclude the preview because there is something else I want to talk about. 
So there's one more move that I didn't take a look at because it's situational, and I wish there was a zombie Lashley on the road to show it off. Um, preview characters in Showdown is a gray area, even if I get consent from the opponents to use a preview character against them, I still feel really eh about it, so I'd rather not. Um, but he does have a 2 MP blue 2 Hurricane Rana. Deal 200,619 damage. Clever. I see what you did there. And make 10 random reinforce into color turn. So that with the double red against a zombie Lashley of some kind. Or um, who else has reinforce? Adam Cole. Um, the thing with zombie Lashley is the AI plays him really poorly. So more often than not, you're going to have a lot of reinforced gems on the board. So that would probably be the ideal opponent for Ray. Um, and even then, everything is is random. And I think the I think the best bet might be the four star build, the double reds, and then put a blue bomber or two words for you just to help you pin. Uh, but that, uh, that wraps up my preview, and I feel like I haven't really done a preview where I've looked through all the builds and went, eh? So I apologize for that, but I also want to be honest in my assessment. Um, to me, the other acro ray is much better. Um, low charge, multiply gems, ask Ocho. That's that's the better acro ray, I think. But you are still going to want to pursue him for his promoter ability. Again, some promoters come out and they're really good fighters. Others come out and they're not, but they're really strong promoters. So I feel like with Ray, in this case, promoter is his best use. So you'll need to get him five star gold, anyways. Um, but everyone has the other acro ray, so I feel like that would be the way to go. Uh, but let me know your thoughts in the um, description and the comments of this video. Um, again, not really feeling this one, but that's okay. Not every character needs to be insanely good. And he is a promoter, so we have plenty of promoters that aren't good. Um, not that he's not good, it's just it's so random and it's tough to make it work, right? Um, but let me know your thoughts. Maybe they'll come out with a color turn plate that makes him insane. And if that's the case, I will reassess. Uh, but thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching, and thank you for being a friend.